Well, good morning. I'm late because I was trying to find, I made an intro video for when I do pre-recorded videos and it's like three seconds long. And I was trying to find it to add it here so I could start putting it at the beginning of my videos. It was a last second thing that I thought of and I couldn't find it. I don't know what I did with it. I really, really need to get better organized at where I store stuff on my hard drive. Ah! I like my shirt, vintage 1968. In case y'all are wondering how old I am, this is when I was born. So we got 13 items to package today. Um, geez, I had four people in here. I've dropped down to two already. They're like, out of here. <laughs> Not like my shirt today. Oh gosh, that's funny. Um, okay, so 13 items, and they are across almost all my platforms except for. Kittizen. I did not sell anything on Kittizen, but I sold every other platform. I have something going out today. Good morning, Holly and Michelle. I was thinking of both of you this morning when I was getting ready, like you were on my mind. I was thinking of things with you guys. So, uh, all right. So let's, let's get going. Where should I start first? What platform should I start? eBay, Macari, Etsy, Poshmark, or Amazon? What would you like to see? Hey, good morning, Carlene. There's a little bit of a delay, so I'll give you a few seconds till I see whoever answers first. That's what I'll do. But, you know, here on StreamYard, it takes like 10 seconds after you type for me to see it. Crazy, crazy. I can live vicariously through your sales. Crickets here. Ah, oh, yeah, but you know what? I got 1,700 items listed, right? And I'm cross-posting to like, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, actually six because... I am cross-posting to Facebook, Facebook, Facebook also. Can't even talk today. What a day. I got to tell you, uh, I woke up. It was, what time was it? Close to seven. I did not want to get out of bed. And I said, why did I schedule my thing? I should have just went live when I was ready. But it made me get up. Good morning, Lisa. So Carly just says my choice. So you guys don't really care where I start. Guess what it's doing outdoors? All right, I'm going to show you guys. Let's see if I can figure out how to put this new webcam back on. All right, so first of all, I told my husband, please put my, because look at, this is what I do for you guys. <laughs> Since I still don't have my thing up, I put all these <laughs> things up on, the, up on the thing. But look at outdoors. What is that? What the heck? It is April 21st, and we are getting snow. Okay, so let me put you back here. April 21st, and we're getting snow. All right, now I got to fix you because I don't want the... <laughs> I had you perfect. I don't like that light right there. Right there. I don't like it in my shot. But it's too dark if I turn it off. Okay, so now I'm just going to tilt you guys down because I can't I can't mess with that. So, uh, hey, good morning, Jill from Biloxi, Mississippi. So Mississippi and I'm getting snow. Would you like some of it? Because I will send it to you. Just ridiculous here. I can't believe it. It's been so long since we've had snow this late. Really crazy. I don't even know what the rest of the weather is going to be this week. I know that it's crazy to think it was like 80 degrees a week ago. But, you know, welcome to the North Country, right? I guess a lot of people say that with their weather. Uh, it's 70, it's 46 out and it's snowing unless this needs to refresh. Oh, it needs to refresh. Come on. Yeah. That's its refresh. It's like not even going to tell me what the temperature is. But I said to my husband last night, I'm like, what is the rest of the week going to be like? I know you guys don't care. Oh, it's 30 out. National Weather Service says a winter weather advisory. For St. Lawrence County. Oh, it's going to snow all day. 90% chance at 9. 90% chance at noon. It doesn't go down until like 5 o'clock. It's 40%. What? We're going to get snow all day? That is just crazy. 28 degrees tonight. All right. Now that I got my weather out of the way, it makes me makes me think of Donna. Um, if anybody ever watched Flippin' Frozen, and unfortunately she's no longer with us. But she used to always do a weather report, and she lived like three hours south of me. Uh, so tomorrow, Thursday, it's 30% chance of snow. 
And then let's see this weekend. I'm hoping there's garage sales. So Friday is going to be 55 and partly sunny and partly sunny on Saturday, 63. So good. All this will be gone. Next week it's going to be in the 70s. Yeah, I'll take it. Well, since um since Jill, hey, good morning, Stitch It. Since Jill said the word Amazon, and she's the only one who has actually mentioned a platform, we'll, we'll start with Amazon. How's that all say? How's that all say? How's that all? Well, whatever. Whatever I'm trying to say. Oh, my gosh. You would think it's a Monday and it's a Wednesday. It's hump day. All right. So what, let's go with Amazon. Um, Knock, knock. That's what I'm saying. Knock, knock. Y'all going to say, who's there? And I'm going to say, uh, this knock, knock. I sold this five days a week. It's by a brand called Knock Knock. And um, it literally just says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever on it. So it's just like a notepad for like a note planner. I sold that on Amazon. So I paid $3.299 for it and sold it for $12. $12.77. Oh, no, I don't want an eBay envelope. Oh, I think I'm getting low on my, my non-eBay envelopes. I might have to replen today, but to have them, I have a whole box. I think I ordered like 10,000 at a time this time around. So I was like, okay, I've been pretty happy with these envelopes. I'm going to order a ton of them. Let me just make sure I didn't, I think I took the price off. So these are my, I got three, only three FBMs today. Uh, of course, I don't want any FBMs because I don't really want to do any FBM. But some things just have not been worth sending in. I do have some stuff upstairs I got to bring down. I went to Walmart and they had a few things on clearance I grabbed. So I'm probably going to do a really, really small shipment to Amazon. My sales on Amazon are just really crazy low. And then at the end of my packaging, I'm going to show you guys what I bought at the garage sale this weekend because I forgot to bring it down for Monday show. And then yesterday I went to an indoor flea market and I'm going to show you what I got at the indoor flea market. Oh, and I'm going to show you something I did RA. I'm not going to tell you where I got it, but I'm going to show you what I got because I'm going to be listing that on eBay. Okay, hold on. This is only four ounces. Got to put in my dements. 12, 8. I always say 12 and 8 because that's the size of the envelope. But look at it. I fold it right down. It's the tiny whiny. But it don't matter. It's first class. First class It's going to ship for whatever it's going to ship. Oh, and this morning I come down and my computer must have re-did like did an update or something. And I look at my printer and I have a label on it. And I first think... Oh my gosh, I forgot to put a label on a package on Monday. No. Remember my printer stopped working. Well, whatever, when it reset everything, I forgot about it when I left on Monday to, to work on it. And it must have refixed itself. So let's make sure. Let's, let's hope we hear the printer. <gasps> yes. Beautiful sounds to my ears. For those who were here on Monday, this printer stopped working. And I had to do old school with my brother printer because you guys were, I was live with you. I couldn't re reboot my computer. Okay. There goes that one. All right. Next we have, ta -da! Um, where is it? This one. Next we have, yeah, it is this one. This one, it's a happy planner, what they call a dashboard. Okay, I have some good mornings to say. Hold on, I'm missing some of you because I've been just chatting it up. I said hi to Stitch It. Hello, PME. And Lisa, I think I got you already. And I know I got Jill. What did we Jill? No snow needed in Biloxi. We are headed for a record temperature low today. What is that? Like a low of what, 50? Uh, we got snow in Indianapolis. Oh, see, we you probably got it yesterday, right? We got it, we get it like a day later. It was so heavy on our trees that we lost a huge tree in our backyard. Oh, my gosh. Hey, good morning, Sherry. You had snow in Kansas City, too? Oh, my goodness. Wow. And let's see. Christy, good morning. Oh, you're only here for a few minutes. Well, thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. And good morning, Charlie. 
I just finished our overnight sale shipping. We'll be back in 20 minutes. Have to pick up my listing assistants. All righty. Well, thanks for jump, jumping in, even if it's for a few minutes. I appreciate you guys being here. All right, so I paid $3.97 is what this sticker says on this. Oh, I picked up some more clearance stuff. Happy Planner clearance stuff. Uh, so I went to Joanne's. And they still had some clearance. And it's a Joanne's I've been to. But sometimes when I see stuff, I won't pick up. Like if they got 20 on clearance, I won't buy all 20. Because I don't know if it's all going to sell. So I'll just pick up a few. So when I went back, they had some items that I've sold out of. So I bought some more. Also, your record temp is 43 in Biloxi. Wow. So 43. That's not bad. I like. I don't mind 43. That's what it was yesterday. It was in the 40s yesterday. It was a bit chilly and I did have to wear, I have like a sweater cardigan. My husband and I went out to eat last night at an Italian restaurant. We've we've gotten takeout before last year from, but we've never gone in and eaten. It is so nice inside, but oh my gosh, the service was so slow. So slow. All right. So this, I really wish it was on eBay because I'd put it in my bubble mailer, but I don't have a bubble mailer that's all plain, plain Jane. I'm hoping it's okay being shipped. I feel like it's a little flimsy. So should I bubble it or put... I'll bubble it because bubble is, is lighter than if I was to put like a cardboard backing. Um, I'll just put two things of bubble around it. I think it'll just give it a little extra, like just a little extra weight from being bent. We'll try it. We'll see. I'm going to do this and see. I still feel like it can it can be bent pretty easy. I'm, I'm going to do the cardboard then. I didn't want to do cardboard because it's going to make it way more. I, but I don't want it to get broken. It's an Amazon. I don't want any of my buyers to get things broken, but definitely not Amazon. Okay, here is... I need it to bend over here. Oh, my husband told me yesterday some friends of ours have COVID. Him and his wife. Thankfully, they have a very, very low level. They have not been vaccinated yet. So I was happy to hear that they don't have it that bad. Okay. So I, I put it in cardboard. Um, let me just tape the cardboard. I just don't want it to get, you know, the post office be bending stuff and all. Don't want to be doing that. Oh, I must have been in a mood yesterday because I was on Facebook and man, there was some people in an Etsy group that wow, one one specific girl, her name was Christy. Sorry, Christy. <laughs> but she just wouldn't let something go and she was spreading false information and I had to keep correcting her and she finally was like, I'm not going to argue with you. And I'm like, well, stop saying things that are not correct. Because if I don't keep saying something back correcting you, then people are going to read what you're saying and think it's it's true. And, oh my gosh. I was getting so frustrated. I was not going to let her get away with it though. I was like down for the count. And, I mean, I wasn't down for the count. I was going to be the person making her down for the count. It was, it was quite the day though. I was just in that mood. At one point I said, all right, I got to step away from Facebook for a little bit. Because I am just... You never get in those moods where, like, today I'm not going to take any baloney. I'm going to give it all back. That's the way I was yesterday. But y'all know, and I, I know some of you, I don't think, um, and Alyssa's not in here yet. And this, I mean, and this is not in here yet. She uh, sent me a message yesterday to let me the verdict of the trial was coming out. And I, had, I already knew because I had it on the TV, but. She knows that she, she knows because I've been saying on here that I've been following the trial. I don't know if that's why I was kind of in the in the mood I was in or not, but I just kind of was. Uh, not me in that group. Yeah, it's uh, Etsy sellers, man. Those Etsy sellers, something it's called, and it's one of the bigger Etsy groups. People are vicious, vicious in that group. I kind of felt like one of them yesterday, but man, if you post the person I posted a picture of. Um, Harry Styles. So she makes uh, it, car air fresheners and somebody is drop shipping her item on Facebook. 
So she was kind of questioning, like, what's going on? But she didn't say drop shipping. She goes, I found my item on Facebook, my picture, that they put me down as the brand. She's like, what's up with that? And people are like, oh, they bought it and they didn't like the smell. So they're reselling it. And, and I said, well, they're probably drop shipping. And people were just like, what's that? You can't do that. That's not legal. Blah, blah, blah. They were just going on and on and on. They're stealing your work. They're stealing your stuff. And I'm like, they're not stealing your stuff. But then people got on her for doing um, IP infringement. You're stealing somebody's photo. You're complaining about somebody selling your stuff, but you're stealing somebody else's photo. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. Crazy. That group is crazy. Don't ever put any licensed products on there because they will just pound on you. All right. So, Oh, and the other thing is on the Etsy group, you, you when you put your post, it has to be approved and it takes them days to approve it. That Most of the time you already got your question answered on another group because you don't want to wait four days for your post to show up on, a, on that group. Um, all right, so look at that. Two bucks. I saw these at Walmart the other day and I'm like, oh, I'm going to pick those up. I am ungated in Kodak. It was an auto ungate for me, but I think I had, was selling for maybe, I don't know, six to nine months before it finally got auto ungated. So $2. And what's funny is at Walmart, they're $23.97. I sold it for $51.99. I know. My, I don't even know. I don't I don't remember even setting the price that high. But oh, I did. That's what I was going for. Um, all right. I took out, I said I'm gonna take out some envelopes ahead of time that I'm gonna use today. Turn around there or reach down there. What's the difference? I don't know why. Didn't really save me much time. All right, so I'm going to put it in a box because, you know, just because it'll be better. All right, so on Monday, I just want to give you guys an update on my thoughts and feelings on the Chauvin trial. So if you've been watching me, you've been hearing me say that I didn't think he was going to be found guilty of anything but maybe manslaughter. I watched the whole trial and I was like, they never proved that he intended to do it. So why would he get second degree and blah, 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 all this stuff? Well, this, so Monday was before the closing arguments and on the closing arguments, I found out he didn't have, they didn't have to show intent. I thought they did. No, they just had to show that he was careless in his actions and resulted in somebody dying. And I thought that was just manslaughter, but no, that's second degree murder. So after I heard the, not really the closing, but the, the judge's instructions and what everything meant, I was like, oh man, he's screwed. He's screwed. He's going to get found guilty. Um, and of course that's what happened. Um, I thought for sure manslaughter, cause you know, it was careless. He, he was on his neck for way too long. And as soon as he wasn't responding, he should have got, they should have gotten up. They should have put him in the side position when the other police officer said, should we put him on his side? There's so many things, but you know, as a Monday morning quarterback, as they call it, when you're looking back, right, hindsight, 2020, when you look back at things, things look more clear, but when you're in that situation, I can't even imagine what it's like being, being a police officer. I can't even imagine what it's like to having to make split second decisions. So I feel very, very bad for the police officers. And I know, I know there's some bad apples in there and, and whether he's a bad apple, they never showed his character. They never talked about his character. I didn't know um, what type of person he really is in real life. Like, I don't know. I'm just going based upon what I saw. And what I saw, I thought, okay, maybe manslaughter. But yeah, but, but definitely when I heard there was a verdict, I thought, yeah, he's guilty. He's guilty. Um, and I was, I knew he was going to be guilty of something, but I didn't know if it would be all three. I was actually surprised it was all three. But I do feel like if I was on that jury, I guess the question is, I don't know. I'll ask you guys if you feel like answering. If you were on that jury and you knew, right, because you can watch the news, even though the judge told you not to, and the defense attorney even said uh, over the weekend when they were still out and about, right, he didn't sequester them. Sorry, I'm just doing my shipping on this. He, um, they were able to watch TV. So, so if they follow the judge's rules by not watching the news, so you don't watch the news, but instead you watch uh, Law and Order. Right. Or I don't know what TV show it was, but there was a number of TV shows. The defense lawyer said had 
uh, they talked about the trial on the TV show. So, I mean, you couldn't get away from it. It's a, it's a huge, huge issue going on right now. So for me, oh, so the defense had a witness who somebody smeared, like they threw pig's blood all over his house. So for me, if somebody was to ask me to, to be on the jury like that, I'd be like, I'd do whatever I could do to get out of it. Because you know damn well that if somebody would have said not guilty and hung on to their convictions, if that's how they really felt and whatever, and, um, and all that, that. I would have been fearful for my life. I would have been fearful. There are people rioting and there's people like what they say, something like 20 something people died last year from the riots. There's no way I would want to be on that jury. No way. And I would, and I would probably take my life and my family over Derek Chauvin going to jail. If I felt strongly that he shouldn't go to jail. And I'm not saying I felt strongly. He shouldn't go. I felt he sh should pay for something because it clearly was excessive. Right. I feel like what they first did was okay, but then it lasted for so long. Um, yeah. So I, I don't know. I know for me. Yeah. I would not have, first of all, I would have been like, excuse me, um, judge, but I have irritable bowel and I can't sit for six hours in a courtroom listening to testimony without having to be able to go to the bathroom on a split second. <laughs> All right, that's it for Amazon. Let's go to Macari because I forgot to ship this on Monday. I sold it over the weekend and Macari sent me a little thing saying, hey, don't forget to ship this. And I'm like, oh, thank you. I forgot. <laughs> Usually when I open up my stuff in the mornings when I'm shipping, I open up every single platform and double check. And for some reason, I completely forgot it. So I took an offer on this. You're like, what is it? So wait, it is a pen. I'm just looking to see if it's upside down. It's a pen and it's in this little case. It's so cute. It's really, really pretty. Um, what a nice gift to give to somebody, you know, your best friend, your mother, your sister, whatever. I have one left. Uh, so I did take a best offer of $9 plus shipping on this. Um, let me tell you what I paid for it. I told myself I'm going to keep my unsold open so I can oh it's not under unsold because I have another one left hold on hold on hold your horses sorry about that pen I only got a couple pens for sale all right so I paid four dollars and 32 cents so not so 3.99 so I will only make a few bucks but I've had it listed since probably like November, maybe. I'm going to put it in a box. I'm going to put it in a box. Ooh, I don't know if it's going to fit in the box. Will, will you fit? Oh, you'll just barely fit. Let's hope the box doesn't get crushed. Um, it couldn't pay me to be in public safety these days. Oh, my gosh. I know. My buddy is a fire chief and is having issues. People are calling in fires and shooting at his crew. Oh, my gosh. The National Guard got shot at. As you know, my husband was in the military. and He, he was active duty, and then he transferred into the National Guard. And um, I would be fearful if he was had, had been called to something like this in today's day and age. I was, it's scary. It's so scary. I was watching the news last night, and they were interviewing some people. And there were these, um, these two people two black, I would say girls, because I don't think they were very old. And they both said pretty much that we should just start shooting white people to uh, make them start feeling what we're feeling. And I thought, oh my gosh, violence against violence is not the answer. Oh, sick. It is, it's a scary time we live in right now. It is, I don't even know. I don't know the answer. I'm not smart enough to know the answer to it all. And somebody, oh, the other thing, and I know, I'm going to say this and then I'm going to move on because somebody said that they felt like um, every white person is a white supremacist. I'm like, wait a minute. Don't we have a black vice president and didn't we have a black president for eight years? Like, 
it takes white people voting for that to, to make it happen. So, <laughs> so how can you say that every white person? Yeah, I don't know. Crazy people. But you know, the thing is they put that on TV and then, and then there are young people out there that hear that and, and take it and run with it and think that's the truth. Okay. Printing my thing, $9. So I made $7.54 and it cost me four. So I only made three bucks on this pen. But you know, like I said, it's been sitting there for a while. So I was like, okay, let's get it going. Oh, damn. I forgot I should open up Gmail when I have sales on these places because... Because that's where my labels are to print. It's so new with me with with Macari and stuff that I used to always just do free shipping and do it myself. And now I'm taking the time to make them pay for it. All right, sorry. I wish I would have opened this up ahead of time. Oh, your package arrived. Good. I'll be getting paid for something. Congratulations. You earned... I earned, oh, there's my labels for those two things. Sorry, This was from the weekend. So, you know, I get so much spam in my email. It's ridiculous. I like n almost never check this, these emails. Do, do, do. Oh, your Canva invoice must be, I'm now paying for Canva. I did the free month trial. Well, there's the transcript from my eBay call this week. All right, must be on the next page. I'm literally going three pages deep to find this label. See, there's my Poshmark label. How did I not get this? All right, Tamara, just type in Macari. Macari, just type it in. Macari, have you shipped? No. Your package has arrived. You've been paid. You've been rated. You've been rated. You made a sale. Oh my God, I made the sale on yeah, Saturday. Way too long, Tamara. Let's get this out of here. Oh, that's right. I got to print it on my stupid printer. Because I don't want to take the time to take it and cut it. And it always comes out blurry when I print it on my, my Dymo printer from Macari. It's always blurry. I don't know why. So if I like. I, if I do um, snip it and clip it or whatever it's called, and I'll highlight the PDF, the label itself, and then say print the image, it comes out blurry. I do this instead. I just don't know why Macari doesn't create a normal label that you can print off. I need to send them a suggestion, but I don't even know where to send it because I don't think they really have customer service. Oh, somebody else also has... So in the Etsy group, somebody else was telling me that another girl named Christy, there was two Christies, Christy, that were bothering me yesterday. She says that you can't sell in Facebook Marketplace if you're a business. Like, what? Where did you ever hear that? <laughs> so I'm like, can you please tell me where she says that in a terms of service? She says, no, you can't be a business. Like, there are some Facebook groups, like your local groups, that may say to you, no businesses are allowed, but... Not, not overall Facebook. So yeah, so I was out, I was battling it out with her yesterday too. I probably just need. Uh, I was saying yesterday to my husband, I'm really glad I don't have very many friends on Facebook right now. When my account got hacked, I didn't friend a lot of people back. I get triggered. I have a hard time when I see something to not say something. A very hard time with that. Let's see here. Tape this stupid label on. The poor buyer's going to be like, man, lady, you've used so much tape. Oh, hey, I sold something. Some pooparoos. I sold some pooparoos. All right, there. That one's done. My 
bag is closing on me. I want to be able to throw it in it. Okay. Thankfully, I am done. Makari. Let me go back and tell them I shipped it. Yes, I shipped it. Finally. Sorry, lady. But you got a good deal on it. I took your offer. Okay, so next we've got some Poshmark. Let's do that next. I got my flat rate here for this. So I sold that Spanx. Remember on Monday, if you were here, I mentioned that I had listed these, uh, listed the Spanx. I've got, oh, so somebody bought this on Amazon and returned it. But it still has its tags and everything. So I listed it. Newest tags. Yeah. So uh, I had gotten an offer on Macari, which I got to remember to take it down from Macari. And I got an offer on Poshmark. And I'm like, all right, whoever whoever pays and gets it first. I countered both of them and Poshmark accepted it. So they're the lucky one. They get it. All right, Posh. I got to use Tissue paper with with Poshmark buyers, you know, they expect pretty packages. There are people who like use pretty tissue paper and they put a ribbon and a bow and they put like fancy thank you notes and they give free gifts. Like, oh, I'm gonna give you a lollipop. And you get you get at least tissue paper with me. And one thing I like about Poshmark is you can use any priority mailbox, flat rate, whatever. So I'm today going to use a flat rate bubble for the Spanx. All right, now I got to go find my label. Let me type in Poshmark. Maybe that'd be easier, huh? Poshmark. Poshmark. Oh, shoot. I'm in the wrong account. I closed the wrong tab earlier. Posh Mark. I think you probably can read from the listing. It would be nice if I could just print it from there. Probably can. All right, print. This is going to Virginia Woodridge. I used to have a friend who lived in Woodridge. I think. Woodridge. I think that's right outside of DC. Pretty sure I worked with him at Andrews Air Force Base. He now lives in Texas, I think. Okay, I have another Poshmark, which I grabbed. Here we go. I grabbed a box for that one. Because why not? It's got to go priority anyhow. Might as well throw it in a box. Wait till you see what it is. It's one of those one items that you sell and you're like, yes, you're out of here. You know, it's funny because back in the day, even today, I don't make always the best decisions. But way back when, I made even more poor decisions. But this one I actually thought was something that was going to sell. I don't know why. I don't know why. It took like three years. Okay, Holly. I will try and remember that you've stepped away when I holla for you. Okay, let me see. Print. Let me just print this and I'm going to show you what it is. Print. I'm going to show you how much I sold it for. Hey, $9. Oh, by the way, that Sphinx was $40. I sold it for $40. Hello, toilet girl. Oh, wait a minute. I know. I, hold on. I got a note with you what your real name is. No, it's not on that. It's not on that cheat sheet. You're going to have to remind me. It's been a while since you've been in here. I don't know what I did with my cheat sheet with your name. Um, so, all right. So I got this belt at a garage sale. It's like, I don't know what they call it, like holographic or whatever. But look, it's got like guitars and the keyboards and another guitar. It's like, oh, a drum set. Cool. It's very like 
I don't know, emo-ish. Made me think of my daughter when I saw it. I put, uh, yeah, I put in hologram. I said rock and roll belt hologram. I should have put guitar drums. I probably, there wasn't enough room for me to put all that. Maybe in the description I put it. I don't know. I probably had a poor title. This thing has been listed, gosh, probably like three or four years. So, ah, uh, Scarlet, that's your name. I knew it was something like that. I, I couldn't think of it. Um, I was going to put it in a box, but man, this is really, really big. It's going to move around too much. And I don't want to spend the money on, on like air bubbles and all that. Using up my supplies. So let's just put this one in a bubble also. Let's put it in one of these. I think that'll be all right, right? I think so. Nine bucks. Um, I got that at a garage sale. I don't even know how much I paid for it. Maybe maybe a quarter or 50 cents. It wouldn't have been that much. And it may have been something I actually picked up for my daughter and she didn't want it. I don't know. All right, hold on. I got to remove all this, all this stuff, you know, this stuff that clings to you. Let me move this away because it's getting all in my way, getting up in my biz. All right, that is it for Etsy. Hold on, look at, I'm looking, my phone is in the way for my little X to close out that thing. And I did Macari. So let's close Macari. And... What do we got next? Ah, oh, just looks like eBay is next. What? What? All right, eBay. Oh, wait a minute. Where did I sell this? Oh, Etsy. We have Etsy. We'll do Etsy next. I don't even have an Etsy open. What? Where did my Etsy go? There it is. It's here now. All right, so I, I listed these. These are from the Dollar Tree. These things. If you're in my Discord group, I'm pretty sure I posted this in my Discord group. Um, I did create a bolo hashtag now in my Discord group so people can actually go just right to the bolos and find it. So let's say I posted this in Discord and a week later you're at the Dollar Tree and you're like, oh, what was it that she had? What was it that, that I should pick up? You can go now to that Bolo hashtag and you'll be able to scan instead of going through all the general general uh, conversations. Uh, so this is a Longhorn Grill Seasoning. I originally picked it up thinking I was going to sell it on Amazon, but I misread the, the uh, size. On Amazon, they're 6 ounces. These are 2.5 ounces. So on eBay, they went cross-posted to Etsy. Not Macari because you can't sell food on Macari. I sold two on Etsy and two on eBay, which you'll see when we do eBay. So that's pretty cool. I got one set left. I'm like, wow, that's those sold really fast on two platforms. Even though I still got two left. I'm debating on raising the price. They're, they're good till 2025. But then I'm like, well, sell them and just go buy some more. Because I'm sure they still have more. Oh, so stitch it. Let's see. You said, I have two Etsy shops since 2009. I don't get involved in Etsy groups. Lots of changes on Etsy since 2009. Yeah, there has been. It used to small and personal. I continue to run my shops with that personal touch. Yeah, I think that... um. I don't go into the forums on Etsy, but I do read Facebook. If it pops up in my feed, then I'll kind of read it. And I'm just looking to see. I thought I had some bubble wrap already ripped, but no. I am. Um, I'm gonna have to go get more bubble wrap because I only got two little squares left. I'm gonna have to go grab some more here in a bit because I got two things. I got a bubble, and I sold another planner, and I got a bubble the the discs on it. But uh, yeah, so I don't, I mean, I don't get involved much, but it is nice to belong to some groups like that because I, something I'll show you guys later I bought and I can't find what the brand is. So I posted it in the thrifting board and in the niche to profit group. Nobody was really much help. I mean, Michelle's like, oh, maybe it was like Chinese or Japanese writing. 
I don't, it may, it looks like it might be something like that, but it's so hard to, I don't, you know, sometimes artists don't sign their names correctly. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's like a doctor scribble. So it's hard to tell if it's just somebody's bad scribbling or maybe it's another language or, you know, all that, all that fun stuff. Okay. So did I, I didn't tell you how much I, so I, I paid $2 for these. I sold them for 16 and it was by a guest. I bet you I did it through my Etsy ads. Is my guess. Because it was a guest. Most of the guest orders have been through Etsy ads. Um, the length, okay. How can you let me do that on eBay? Uh, 420 to ship it. That's not a bad ROI. I'll take that. And like I said, it sold. They sold really fast. I just listed them this weekend. So I'm happy with that quickness. All right, that's it for Etsy. Etsy has been very slow for me. Hey, good morning, Tio. Hope I didn't miss anybody out. If I did, please say hello. I have been um. My sales on Etsy have been slow. I mean, you see, I'm still doing them here and there, like one or two, you know, every, every, every other day, because I'm only shipping Monday when. Thanks to eBay taking away my top rated seller status back in January, which I have it back now, it came back in March, but I started doing longer handlings. Now I'm on, now my handling still say three days from when I had my co second COVID shot two weeks ago. I haven't gone back and changed it, which I really should. But it's kind of nice just having that, like, wiggle room. Like, if I decided I didn't want to ship today, I didn't have to. I don't think it's, I feel like it has not affected my sales having a three-day handling versus two days. Because, as you see, my numbers are the same as they usually are. Um, I am going to go to eBay. So, that was it for Etsy. Like I said, I had nothing on Kitizen. Which, I was, have you guys checked out Kitizen yet? I wanted to show you this. Actually, let's take a break. Let's take a commercial break for Kitizen, which I'm not getting paid for it, but I'm just going to show you anyhow. Um, actually, hold on. Hold on. Before I share, let me get the page I need to. La, da, 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 da. It's very difficult. Okay. It's very difficult to navigate Kitizen. All right, so this is Kitizen right here. This is their logo. Their logo. This is what I've listed so far in Kitizen, but I haven't sold anything. So, I mean, do it if you want. But if you have a cross-listing platform that lets you cross-list, why not? That's what I'm doing. Right. Then do let you cross-list to Kitizen. I'm sure it probably lists perfectly does too. Um, so it, it has to be kid or mom related. No dad stuff. <laughs> you could be a mom. And shop here, but you can't be a dad. Um, so kids stuff, clothes. This is a kid's t-shirt, toys. This is what I've listed so far on Kidizen. Oh, kitty, kid stuff. Oh, so I did put this because it's a journal. Oh, it's one of those memory keepers, like a scrapbook. So there is... um. I figure I think I had to maybe put like mom other or something like that. So I did, you know, it's like Etsy where sometimes like you can list this. I sold this on eBay, but this um planner, right? It's not homemade. Is it a supply? I don't know. I put it in as a supply on Etsy because people like to decorate. You can use it as your form, like a canvas. So um, yeah, so I put that in as you could use this as your baby book. How am I to say whether somebody can or can't? So that's my reasoning behind it. Oh, I got to take this off. I just sold it. I need to go back. Look at that squishmallow I got. I showed you guys that the other day. It's so cute. All right, let me take this off while I'm here. Delete. But it is so hard to... Like, I wanted to see what email address. So I was logging in. Where was I logging in? All right, I'm going to stop sharing this. I was logging in somewhere. 
And uh, hey, bye, Carlene. Thanks for stopping in. And uh, I, I wanted to know the email address I used to log into that. And I couldn't find it anywhere. Nowhere. There's nowhere on there just to change your email or do anything with your email. Weird. So I realized I'm, I go by Yellow Brick Road on there. So I'm like, oh, I probably use my Yellow Brick Road email address. Um, it's the only platform I use Yellow Brick Road as my selling name. I don't know. I don't know why I did it, but that's what I did. Alrighty, so let's go to eBay. All right, so you guys, anybody who's been following my channel since the beginning of the year, um, this is the planner that I started using for my business, this planner right here. So I did, uh, so you'll see it goes from, this is December 2020 because it's an 18-month planner. And then it goes to, hold on a minute. Not that you care. I don't know. I'm just showing you anyhow. So it goes to, from December to, remember this? This is what I used to February because I used the month of January because I started off with this planner. This is what they call a vertical planner. I can now normally show you guys because when I sell something, it's usually um, has like a sealed thing so you can't open it. But the vertical planner goes like, oh, wait a minute, that's a month. That's not what I want to show you. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> hey, good morning, JRKR. Okay, so there. There's the day. See how it goes like vertical up and down? Well, I didn't like that format. So I went, I went to what they call the dashboard, which I don't know if I even like the dashboard. I'd only like the dashboard if it was completely plain and they didn't have like a colored, like a peach background or a green background one day or one week, because I find I spend so much time whiting it out because you can see through it when I put my stickers or whatever on. So, uh, so yeah, it sold. I listed it and I put that it was missing January, and which who needs it now anyhow. Uh, it sold for twenty nine eighty eight. I had a now I have another one for thirty two that has January in it, so I did give a little bit of a discount. So when it sold, I had to read the description to see which one sold, and I was happy to see that it was this one. Um, so twenty twenty nine eighty eight, and it's going in a bubble. They fit in a bubble, but I need to bubble the. Sorry, it's so loud, huh? My gosh, oh, it's stuck. I'm at the end of my roll. It's like it's like when I'm at the end of my my uh, my rope. I'm back and listening. We working. All right, Charlie, get some work done. You and your listing assistants. I wish I had some assistants. Sometimes I've thought about it, but then. You know, I'm reading that book, Profit First. I should say reading in quotes because I haven't picked it up in over a week. I'm not a big reader. I don't know why I said, oh, let's do a book club. That's pretty dumb of me. <laughs> I don't really like to read. <laughs> I like to read Facebook. I rate to read like magazine articles or, you know, short stories, but not like a whole book. I should have just got the audio. I probably should just get the audio. Um. So in that book, one of the things they were, you know, I've, I mentioned on here, they talk about is when you start to have sales, how you want to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And a lot of it is like hiring people and all this other stuff to get, to get bigger. And, and sometimes you spend, you know, I'm sure you, you, Charlie, are probably making more money having an assistant than if you didn't, right? Because you could list more and sell more and, you know, I'm sure you ran the numbers to make sure it's worth it. But sometimes it's not worth it. Sometimes you, you get all this all this uh, help coming in and you pay them and you do all this stuff. And then when you sit down and look at it, you're like, geez, doing that, doing that for what? That's kind of how I felt like with Vendu, right? I pay for Vendu and I have to co continually say to myself, is it worth the time and effort to cross post? Is it worth the expense paying for Vendu to cross post? Um, you know, and right now I'm saying, yeah, I think, I think it is. So at the end of the month, which I'm kind of excited for, not that I want May to come that quickly because man, time flies so fast when you're getting older, <laughs> but I'm looking forward to running some reports just to kind of look and, 
look at my numbers a little bit more. I have slacked on Poshmark sharing the last couple of days, but I want to be able to look and say, okay, yeah, this, these were my sales. And so I'm probably going to report to you guys. These are my sales on all the other non eBay platforms minus Amazon. And this, this is why I cross post because I sold X dollars amounts. I was going to throw out a number, but I don't want you guys to think that's, that's a real number. I don't even know what my numbers are. Um, I know my numbers are from like previous months, but this last month I was like, okay, yeah, I'm all in. I'm doing Vendu. I'm cross posting. Like I'm cross posting more and more. I'm, I, I really, I feel like without sitting down and running the real numbers, I feel like just from what I'm seeing that it's worth it. But I will tell you my other eBay store has like halted completely. My Etsy is still selling. But eBay is halted because I'm not listing. I think it's because I'm not listing because I'm not adding new product to it. So I got to come up with some new products to be continually listing. I need to do that. All right. So I don't know. I didn't show you guys, but I bubbled the disc like I always do because they break easy. I've gotten comments have said something about um, about doing that and how they like that. Is the self sealing bubble wrap envelope any good? Do you use it? I have never used that, Tio. Um, they were at eBay Open two years ago when they, when they had an eBay Open, and um, and I've seen like videos because I think people got some for free that were there. They people sent them some, but I've never tried it. I did see it on clearance at one time at Walmart. It was like within Brickseek. But my Walmart didn't have any, so I didn't get a chance to grab any at a, at a cheap price. It's expensive. It's expensive. If it's the stuff I'm thinking of, you're talking about the stuff that you put on and it seals like literally all around your item. I think if, if that's what you're talking about, I don't remember what it's called. But I've never, I've never tried it. All right, so this, I sold some more Happy Planner. Uh, this is washi tape. I've got some of this. I'm not a fan of it because it doesn't stick very well. It doesn't stick as well as, you know, washi tape is like, it's like a masking tape with a print on it. And um, you use it to decorate stuff. But yeah, for some reason, this is like really thin. So I was just going to see if they had a date on it. 2017. Maybe that's why. Maybe this was older. Maybe because the longer, the older it gets, the less sticky. But um if you ever watch some of my videos when I'm showing you guys my planner, I'll be like, oh, it's not sticking down. Some of that is from the, these books. They're just, for some reason, they're just not sticking very good. All right. eBay ball, eBay mailer. Hey, good morning, Laura. How is Alabama? Are you cold? I heard that uh, Biloxi, Mississippi is cold in the 40s. So I'm thinking that Alabama is probably getting a little cold spell right now also. I didn't check for a sticker on this. Ah, I'm gonna I'm gonna send it. I'm not gonna reopen it. Um, yeah, that's that uh we're getting snow. For anybody who came in late, uh I showed earlier, I got snow. Snow out my window. Five ounces. Oh, by the way, hold on. I'm gonna go back to tell you the stats on this one. Stats are I paid five sixteen and that's with tax, you know. I sold it for, it says $16.01. So I'm thinking I may have charged them shipping on this. Because I can't imagine that was all. Taxes. A little bit of a pause there. So I feel a sneeze coming on too. This is going to Tennessee. Ooh, the girl's name is Gay. So, oh my God, I got a story to tell you. Speaking of Gay. My daughter had a teacher in school, in high school. Well, she was like a substitute teacher. But for like a length of time, I think maybe a teacher was out on maternity leave or something. So she had this teacher for, for quite a while. Uh, her name was Gay. She married a man whose last name was Butts. No kidding. Her name was Gay Butts. I literally met her. It For real, that was her name, Gay Butts. I would have kept my maiden name. I would not have changed my name if I got married. My husband's name was Anthony Butts. No, no way. 
Not if my name is Gay. <laughs> oh, poor thing. And being a high school teacher, could you imagine? Probably if she would have been a middle school teacher, it would have been worse. I couldn't even imagine. Um, oh, you know what? I sold... I forgot something over there that I grabbed. I grabbed this t-shirt at the same time I was grabbing the sticker book. But I sold a Mickey Mouse t-shirt. So I had sent these to Amazon, as you can see, Amazon. Um, and for some reason, I got an IP complaint on this Walmart Mickey Mouse t-shirt. So I can sell Disney, but it must be the brand who made the shirt. Let me see if I can see who the brand is. I had to pull them all back. I don't know. I don't see it. It probably wasn't even a legitimate one, but I didn't fight. I just like, all right, pull them back. I'll keep them on eBay. So that's where I sold it. So I actually took the um, Amazon, the stock photo from Amazon. I probably could get in trouble for that. But I have multiples of these, and I just used that one photo and put them all on with that one photo. So this, I paid $2 for it on clearance at Walmart. I sold it for $12.88. Oh, plus shipping. Because it's something that I listed recently. So $12.88, they're all in for $18.28. And it weighs to 7 ounces. Which actually... Excuse me, I'm surprised that I listed this with free ship or not free shipping because all my free, all my new items have pretty much been free shipping. It was competing against, you know, so many stores that offer free shipping like Amazon and Walmart and all this stuff. Uh, so somehow that made it through with, and somebody bought it, paying for shipping. I'm uh, starting to charge shipping now. So Tommy Bernard will become my friend. We were in here on Monday. He said that if I did if I didn't do free shipping, he'd be my friend. Uh, my sister went from brown, married a white, divorced, then married a putz. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes, Charlie, that's got to be hard. I mean, I can't believe first of all that your your if your real name is Charlie, that your parents named you Charlie. Right, Charlie Brown. Because Charlie Brown's been around forever. I always think of that. Somebody whose parent names their child something. Unless Charlie was a family name like way back before Charlie Brown and Peanuts and all that even became such a thing. But I feel like it had to have been really tough growing up. Um, that's so funny. I had a high school teacher named Mimi Gay. She was super sweet. It's got to be so hard having, like, names like that. It's got to be so tough. I need to off the excess. All right, I'm just reading. I'm, I'm behind. My taxes are done. Yay! Oh, my gosh. I, I told my husband last night, I said, please remember to call Social Security tomorrow to get your 1099 or 1098, whatever they're called from Social Security. I'm like, I need that. I need that to do my taxes. For some reason, we never got it. And he tried to log in, and, and it was telling him his Social Security number, um, name, and date of birth. or Something didn't match. I don't know. So he's got a call. He's That was on Saturday. All right. So then I sold. You know, I, I bought so much of this Martha Stewart paint on clearance and sold it on Amazon. Sent it to Amazon and sold it. Some of these I kept here. I'm not sure why. Some of them I kept for myself because they, they were leaking when I got them home. Before I mailed them all in, I opened them. And some of these had been like leaking a little bit. So I kept them for my personal use. Oh my gosh, they are such good paints. My mom and I have been using a lot of them lately. And now I regret so many that I sent in. I wish I would have kept more because I got, these were a dollar a piece. And so $2 into this listing. Uh, I, I did group them together. They're the same color. And I sold them for uh, ten eighty eight, but they paid seventeen thirty one. dollars That's weird. 
Did they upgrade to? Oh no! So my flat rate was five dollars in shipping for this. It's probably going to cost me three bucks. Well, that's good. That's a good one. So I sold it for ten eighty eight plus the five in shipping, so fifteen eighty eight, and I have two dollars into it. I think one of the things I've really learned, and I probably need to do a better job at it. I think I was talking about it a little bit on Monday, a Monday show is learning more and more stuff that's outside of the stuff that I know. So it's good to buy stuff and think about things that you know and look for that. But I think it's really important that you educate yourself on other stuff throughout time. And I was saying how I'll pass up. Well, there's YouTube channels I don't watch because they don't sell stuff that I normally sell. So I don't spend a lot of time watching them. Um, but I was thinking, you know, maybe I should go back and start watching them a little bit more because I can actually learn about another, another product line. So like there's a lot of the guys on here sell a lot of electronics and video games and action figures, you know, eighties toys, nineties, that stuff. I don't really have much passion or interest in that. So I kind of just let it go, but it probably would be good to at least get some, you know, good knowledge enough to be able to say, Hey, look at that pile at a garage sale. I should, I should go and look it up or grab it. I mean, if something's only a quarter and it looks like it's a vintage action figure for a quarter, I would pick it up. I would pick it up no matter what, because even if I was to pick up a bunch of them through the summer for a quarter and then just sold it as a big lot, you're going to get your money back. If you're paying a quarter for an action figure that's in good condition, that's vintage, you're going to get your money back. There's no doubt. Um, okay, so next was two more of these uh, Longhorn Seasonings. In case you are late to my show and you missed the other two that I packaged on Etsy. So you might have been asking, why did you sell this on Etsy? Right? But this is a supply, right? This is a supply. That's how I look at it as people use this in the creation of something, maybe creating their dinner. <laughs> I definitely dance around the, the supply rule there. I don't think Etsy cares. They're getting paid. They're getting money. I don't think they care. I don't have any more bubble wrap. So I'm trying to do this without having to get up to go get more bubble wrap. You're my best friend at garage sales. I look for all that stuff. I know. I wish you lived closer. I want a friend to go garage sailing with me. My sister was is uh, might do Route 127 with me. Because I was mentioning to my mom how much I wish that she was you know, physically able to go do stuff like that with me. I, When we go shopping and stuff, when, I, when you hear me say we're going on a trip, um, I push her in a wheelchair. Because she can't walk in the stores and stuff. So I push her in a wheelchair. Well, it's great if I'm going to, you know, Kohl's or, you know, stores with wheelchairs. Plus, I have my own wheelchair. I showed you that paint and I haven't, it's sitting right here. I never, I never um, shipped it. So, <laughs> take this away. We are going to do the paint. <laughs> um, so, for a garage sale, it's just not going to work. Pushing her on somebody's lawn in a wheelchair and stuff. And, oh, it's back breaking. Taking her in and out. Taking the wheelchair in and out. So I said, I wish I could go to, the, to these garage sales with you because I love spending the time with her. And I said, I wish my sisters lived close because so, I would love to have them go with me. But they live five hours away. Uh, but one sister called me who lives five hours away and she said, when is it? I might, I might be able to go with you. I might be able to swing it. So I am... Um, I'm going to see about maybe having her go and we're going to go over and drive to Ohio and do 127. Obviously not all of 127. I'm wondering why the best place is to start when you're doing Route 127 garage sales. I'm assuming a lot of people probably start in Ohio and probably a lot start down in like Alabama, Tennessee area. But I'm wondering if like going right to possibly like Kentucky would be better. Maybe next time I go through and we drive down that way, we always take the interstate. I'll jump off and we'll go down 127. That'd be fun. I like to take the back roads. That's what was nice about when we did Route 66. We didn't take the interstate until we literally had to because it was no, they did away with Route 66 and parts of it. 
Okay, so back to shipping this paint. It's only eight ounces. So I made out, I made out in shipping on this one. Come on. My computer's slow. This is going to Peoria, Illinois, which they have an air base there, by the way. What did I just say it was eight ounces? Why does my brain not remember things clearly? Oh, it's only 357 to mail this. That's pretty good. I'm happy with this sale. Oh, I got leftover pizza upstairs. And then I have leftovers from Sunday night we went out to eat. We go out to eat all the time. My mom's like, you always are going out to eat. I'm like, yep, we do. Because I can. Um, but I was like, oh, I'm going to have pizza for breakfast. But I said, I can't eat before my show because it gives me tummy aches. And that's why I don't do so well when I've eaten breakfast before the show or had coffee. So I start these shows with no eating and no coffee. Can you imagine? No coffee morning for me doing these shows. All right, now I'm going to go back to doing this. And, oh, I got a bird. Two birds at my bird feeder. I wonder what kind of bird those are. I've not seen them before. I don't think, I think I must have used this for something. I, I, I grabbed all, enough of these boxes originally to start my show with, and I, I'm one short. I guess because I put the pen in here, and I wasn't going to put a pen in it. I hope that pen didn't have a price on it. I can't remember if I checked it for it on the back side. I might grab that other one I have and see if it had a price tag. I hope it didn't. I don't remember if I if I looked or not. I may have to open that up. Oh, damn, Tamara, you got to get better at taking the price off when you list it. I'm a lazy lister. I take my shortcuts. I'm using tissue paper instead of bubble wrap because I don't have any here. But I think that will give it enough form in here. Snowbirds today. I know. Oh my gosh. Yeah, when I woke up, well, you can still see the grass. You can still see the grass a little bit peeking out, but yeah. At least it's like fine snow coming out. It's not like the big, thick snows. All I know is it's still snow and it's April. So many stores. Was it my somebody was saying to me the other day they couldn't believe that was it Lowe's or Home Depot? One of them didn't have any plants yet outdoors. And I'm like, it's April. We don't put plants out yet. We still get frost at night. Getting ready for the handyman to come. What is he fixing? What's he fixing, Holly? Ten ounces. Ten ounces, ten ounces. I have to keep saying it. Why did I put only five in here? That's weird. That's weird. Okay. Why is it coming up saying... It's coming up saying priority. I may go back and see if this person upgraded. No. Why does it do that? Defaults. No, they paid $3 in shipping. I hate when it defaults to... Uh, so they paid $13 for this. It cost me two. Um, it defaults to priority. When it has five ounces in there. You know how many people probably just say purchase shipping label and don't realize that? So it's actually 420. 420. So I underestimated the shipping on this one. Um, putting up what? Putting up a new blind? Send them my way. <laughs> I have a blind that needs to be put up. I finally remember to buy it. What is it? Probably like two months ago. My husband has not been putting it up for me. 
Although he did tell me you'd do it today. He goes, if you come down into your office, I'll put it up for you. He wants me here while he's doing it. I'm like, really? I got to be here when you do it. I don't need to supervise you putting up a blind. Uh, new lights and lots of little stuff. The handyman looks scruffy. I didn't recognize his thumbnail. What handyman? What am I missing? What handyman? I knew that would get you. Oh, yeah, because you said the blind. You're right. Sheesh. I'm about ready to spend money in order and hire my own handyman. Oh, I am going to have to go get bubble because I sold this and uh, I don't have enough. It needs more bubbles. Oh, and while I'm at it, I need to grab my pooparoos that I sold. So I sold this. Can you see that? It's a bird. Actually, you know what? I'm going to un unbubble this. I'll show you it. Because I need to tighten up my bubble. YouTube. Oh. All right. I guess I'm still missing something on that one. But yeah, see? So I bought a ton of these at the Salvate. No, at the Goodwill when I was visiting Vermont. And I paid a dollar a piece. Wait a minute, how did a dollar fifty for this one? Some of them were a dollar, some were one fifty, and I think there was one that was two dollars. Um, I I don't know. I probably got like maybe twenty or twenty five of them. Somebody obviously was getting rid of their whole collection, and I picked them all up. So it's Russ Berry. Merrily we tweet along. So they've slowly sold off. I think I only have two left, and. I saw some at the indoor flea market yesterday and I was like, oh, should I get that? But they were asking, I think, $8 for it. I'm like, yeah, no, not $8. I sold this one for $14.75. I took a best offer. But these have been listed for over a year and I'm down to only a couple left. So anything breakable, I don't like to hang on to for too long because I feel like it's just going to get broken in my own possession. <laughs> so if I can get rid of it quickly, I like that. So this one has been, like I said, it's been um, a couple years, so. Hey, good morning, April. You know, April, if you ever want to go sourcing, even if it's last minute, just, you know, text me or call me. And if I'm free, I'll go, you know, but just be prepared that I might say, oh, no, I don't feel like I'm being lazy today or I got something else going on. Uh, yesterday, I went out to Canton and picked up a Facebook Marketplace item. Which I'm going to show you guys in a minute. This is my last item. No, I got the pooperoos after this. And uh, I ended up doing a little bit of sourcing afterwards. Just a little. I was in Canton, so I went into that indoor flea market in Canton. I thought that bird was a tipping bird, like perpetual motion. No, it doesn't move. It's all like wired on. Oh, speaking of motion, I went into the Dollar Tree to pick up some um, some of these little wooden, like wooden squares, cubes that I'm using for a craft project. And they had, when I first walked in, you know those solar, I have some up here, but you can't see them because my, and I can't see them anymore. I can hear them every now and then. I'm like, what is behind my, my priority mailbox? Because I hear something making a noise. But you know those solar little like, they're not literally bobbleheads, but you know those things that move that are solar? I've got two of them up here that my grandmother had when she was in the nursing home. They actually belonged to her roommate. But when her roommate passed, my grandmother got them. And so when my grandmother passed away, I took them. So now when I see them, and they make me think of my grandmother. But they have them at the Dollar Tree now when you walk in. And I got this sloth wearing, I think he's wearing a bikini. And so he's now on my dashboard in my car. <laughs> so cute. All right. So I, I took that bubble wrap and I rewrapped it, but I like to put it really, really tight around it. It was too loose. Um, I need to go grab my bubble, another roll of bubble wrap. I will be right back. I've got two more rolls after this one, so I don't need to reorder yet. 
think I'm going to try that bubble boy or bubble fast or something like that next time. See what it is, how good it is. Uh, let's see. Let's do. Let's do two and two. Let's do two and two. Let's see. It might be. I don't know if this box I got is going to be too small. For the dashboard. Yeah, I love, love. I, I love things like that. I got to get some Velcro or something to, so it sticks onto my dashboard. Because if I stop quickly, it's just going to go flying. I can't believe it's Wednesday. You know, in the morning, every, every morning when I wake up, I have to, like, remind myself what day it is. And I was like, this morning I woke up and for some reason I was thinking, oh, it's Saturday. Why? Why was I don't even know why I was thinking that. I'm like, it's not Saturday. It's Wednesday. And you got a show to do. Get up. Get going. Get moving. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to use a different box. The thing is, is this, it doesn't weigh much. Oh, yeah. You're so not going to fit in the box I grabbed for you. Um. Oh, hey! I bet you it might fit in one of my eBay eight by eight by eight boxes. Oh, I always forget I have these. Let's see. Let's see if it goes over a pound, though. I don't think it will because they they weigh pretty pretty lightly. Oh yeah, it's only at eleven ounces. American Bubble Boy. Yeah, but isn't there like bubble fast too? So I'm now I'm like, which one is it though that I, that I wanted to try? Was it American Bubble Boy? Isn't that what you buy at Walmart? So maybe it's bubble fast. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, I was going to say something. I just lost my train of thought. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bubble this one more time. Do not want him to get broken. So I'm glad he finally sold. So I'm going to wrap him. This one I'm going to wrap a little looser. I'm all right with that. And put you in diagonal, right? Because I talked to you guys how I put my stuff in here diagonal. So instead of putting it like this, because this is what the sides are what get the weight and crushability put on them. So I put my stuff diagonal. So if it gets crushed right here it's not going to crush over here it's not going to affect it much just a tip for you in case you missed it in the past all right where's my air bubbles where's my air bubbles my mama said she's got some air bubbles for me i need them i'm getting very low oh, yeah i definitely need another one right there Oops. I may have to cut my box down. It's going to be move, too much movement in this. Because it's, it didn't need to be this big. If I, if I do that... Oh yeah, there's way too much movement. Oh, you're getting your COVID shot on, on, um, on Friday. Good for you. I was so like up in the air on it but you know of course now that I've I've had both my shots I'm just thinking like I'm, I feel like kind of glad I got it well I'm glad I'm glad I got it I'll take this out so I don't pop it when I resize resize my box let's go about right here with it It's either this, either resize it, or I'd have to go find more bubbles. This is cheaper. I'm going to resize. Yeah, I have no, no major home runs on the stuff I bought, but there's something I bought. I, I can't identify it yesterday. Of course, 
Why is it whenever I go out sourcing, I end up buying myself stuff? And that's what happened yesterday. Okay, now I gotta put my bubbles back in. Back in, back in. It's got like sticky on it. It's got like tape on it. Okay. All this for a little bird. A bird that's skiing. I thought it would have sold in the winter time, but it didn't. Maybe it's a Mother's Day gift for somebody who's collecting them. I was going to take pictures today of stuff to list on eBay, but, you know, I took pictures last week and I still haven't even listed it all. Okay, there we go. Look at that. I shake it. Can't even hear it moving now. Feels so much better. Cutting it down. And it weighs 13 ounces. 13 ounces. Anybody know if the Bearded Picker went live today? I thought he was going to change to doing Wednesday shows, but I haven't seen him the last few Wednesdays. I haven't seen him go live in a couple weeks. I like to listen in. Five twenty-seven. This is going to Sheb Sheboygan, Sheboygan, Michigan. Hey, it's Sh Sheboygan. Oh, you think he's traveling? Oh, okay. Hey, he was in Florida. I know he was doing that for a while because he went to ASD, but that was a few weeks ago. Okie dokie. So, you know, when I first originally started doing this show, I was doing Monday, Wednesday, and Friday because he always went on Tuesday and Thursdays. And then he changed to Wednesdays, and I'm like, what? You're going into my time. I'm not going to be able to watch you live. You didn't cut excess flops to reduce weight. Who's paying? Yeah, me. Um, but it, I don't. It wouldn't have reduced the weight enough to bring it down because I would have to go down to like seven ounces or something. I think it wouldn't have brought it down enough. Uh, let me go get my pooparoos, which are in tote C, and it looks like it's the orange one. Where are you, Poop Roos? Oh, here we go. Here we go. I got my Poop Roos. So I bought these. I'm gated on Amazon. And uh, I couldn't send them in. I'm pretty sure that's why I still have them. One of those things that sometimes when I'm out sourcing, I'll just assume I'm ungated in certain things. Let me make sure this fits. Hmm, this might not fit. This might not fit. Let me try before I start taping. Oh yeah, you'll fit. It'll fit. So uh, yes, yeah, so I will. Uh, We'll pick up stuff and just assume I'm ungated because who would think I'd be gated in pooperoos? Eh, I was gated. I'm pretty sure that's why it's, I have it. Either that, actually, I should scan it. Either that or they didn't have this variation. Let me check and see. Let's see. Let's see what it's going for on Amazon. Do today. Cancel Brickseek. Huh, I already canceled it. I canceled my extreme on Brickseek and they said, why are you canceling? I'm like, because there's not enough good deals. I'm paying for something that's not very many good deals. I got to do a picture because my UPC is all messed up. All right, let's see. Pooparoos. Oh, yeah, I can sell them. 
they must not have had the orange one. See, when I do a picture scan, it just comes up with the green, the blue, and white with pink hair. So I think that's what, I think that's where the issue was. And they're only going for $9 on eBay or on Amazon. I sold this one for $12.05. I paid $2.50, I sold it for $12. So yeah, it's, uh, so I can sell them. It must have been the price was just low or I, di I didn't see that orange one when I did a picture scan and the UPC didn't come up. I hear my husband moving. What is it? Almost 10 o'clock. He was all excited. He's like, I don't have anything going on tomorrow. Oh, he did. He has a chiropractor appointment. He's like, I don't have to see the chiropractor until late in the day. I can sleep in tomorrow. He was pretty excited. Oh, I'm at the end of my tape. End of my bubble roll. End of my tape. I'm running out this morning. This was eBay, right? This was eBay. Should have been using eBay tape to begin with. Because this is my old roll of eBay tape that actually sticks. That other stuff don't stick very good. Eight ounces. Not that y'all really care how much something weighs. My grandson sees you on live and waved. Oh, hi. What's his name? I'll say hi to him. He thinks you can see him. <laughs> That's funny. Do you have me on like your big TV or something? I always think that's kind of weird because I'll watch people on my TV in the living room. And I think to myself, my God, there are people watching me on a big monitor, a big TV or screen or something. Sorry. Sorry for y'all. I should be paying you to watch me. Oh, <laughs> uh, 369. I always find it funny when I'm watching... Um, uh, am I going to say this right? Revden? Revden? Hey, Revden. Hopefully I'm saying your name right. I'm glad that you're watching me this morning. Hopefully you're going to grow up and be a reseller. Make lots of money. Work for yourself. Be an entrepreneur. Oh, this is going to Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. It's going to Shadali. Shadali in Puerto Rico. Um... Oh, I forgot what I was saying. See, it gets distracted so easily. I think that's it. And then I'm going to grab... I'm just looking around. I think that's it for stuff to package. Okay. Now I'm going to show you what I got this weekend. I'm like rolling on something. What am I rolling on? I'll show you what I got at that garage sale. So remember that garage sale I went to a couple weeks ago? And I picked up some pretty cool stuff. So I already sold them, like the Scooby-Doo mug, um, the rainbow pillowcase. That was from this, this garage sale. So I went back. It was 50% off everything their second weekend. And I didn't know what I was, if I would find anything worth it. But I was like, oh, well. So I didn't look anything up. I literally just was like, oh, yeah, I'll just grab it because the prices were low enough that I took a chance. That's one thing I will tell you, like, unless you're very, very tight for money, sometimes just grab it, look it up, and you'll see. So this was one thing I grabbed. Uh, it was a quarter. So I don't even know how much she told, she charged me for it because it was a quarter originally. So half off would have been 12 and a half cents, which I'm sure she didn't do 12 and a half cents. But I got this. Thinking that maybe, you know, it's a vintage. Let's see what the year is. I didn't even look. A vintage. Oh, yeah. Want some of their DNA? Um, it's inside. It says 1994. Like somebody gave it as a gift to somebody in 1994. So copyright is 1993. Right? So it's considered vintage. So I can put it on Etsy too, which is nice. But this is, uh, which I could put on Etsy anyhow, because people could use this as a supply. Even if it was from this year, they would use it as, as a supply, as a media arts item. Because look, it's full of comic books, comic strip stuff. Uh, it's not worth anything. It's worth like four bucks. I looked it up. I was like, yeah, it was actually, Jeanette, it wasn't a good buy. I was like, oh, well, I'll grab it. 
I mean, I'll make my quarterback or 12, 12 and a half cents. But I don't know. Um, these are falling off my lap. I put it right here. So, yeah, it's not worth a whole bunch. I'll list it. We'll see. And then I grabbed this bartender's guide. Because, you know, I don't know anything about drinks. I don't drink very often. And I actually thought it may not be a bad idea for me to hang on to and every now and then be like, hey, would you like a Mr. Old Boston? I can make you one. Or how about a Neapolitan or ne Neapolitan? Napoleon. <laughs> I can't even say it right. How can I, I? I'm talking like I've already been drinking it. A New York cocktail. I've never heard of it. Sometimes I wish I knew cocktails more. So um, I'll probably keep this for myself. I probably won't sell it. I did look it up. It wasn't worth much. So it'll be something I'll keep for myself. And I saw this, The Little Mermaid. I'm like, oh, that's an old one. So that's probably a vintage book. Again, I didn't even look at, I didn't even look at the uh, date. Let's see what the date is. Uh, 2006. Is that, that's not vintage yet, is it? Wait a minute. This year it's vintage. Does that have to be 15 years to be vintage, I think? You could have dated it off with that white hair. I, mean, I could have. <laughs> um, they had a lot of old stuff in this house. Like, not old, old stuff, but, you know, stuff from, like, the 80s and 90s. So, I grabbed that. Again, not worth it. It's not worth it. Oh, well. But this one, this one was worth between, like, 40 and 50 bucks. I probably go in the lower end because you can see the cover, the paper is ripped. It's not in the best of condition. But Secrets of the Gnomes. This one, it doesn't even have like a UPC, but it did have an ISBN number. Um, let's see what the date is of this one. 1982. This has 1981, and then it has another copyright of 1982. Published in 1982. Okay. So this is Secret of the Gnomes. That's what it looks like. In case y'all were wondering. Look at the gnomes. And you know, gnomes are really popular right now. So I did look this up, and yeah, between 40 and 50 bucks. So I'll do 40. And then I saw this, and I'm like, oh, what's that? Oh, by the way, it's like the hardcover books were 50 cents. So for 50 cents, I was like, I'll oh, just get it. What the heck? I figured like the Little Mermaid, if they're not worth anything, I got those, um, my adopted grandkids that come to visit, they can just read it. So then this was a Wilton Cookie Pro Ultra, and it was $3, so it was $1.50 because 50% off. And I was like, I haven't even opened it. I don't even know if all the pieces are here. But I thought, oh, Wilton, that's a pretty good brand name. I'll pick it up for $1.50. Sure. Yeah, it's not worth a lot. <laughs> I didn't do very good. When I got home and looked up stuff, I was like, yeah. They're all like, what do they call Meat and potatoes or bread and butter. They're all bread and butters. The little girl confuses elves, gnomes. Oh, did I have have you read that book? Secrets of the Gnomes? I picked up a webcam. Had it been a year ago, this probably would have gone for a lot more than it is right now because web cameras were going for so much with people getting on Zoom and stuff for work. They needed web cameras. Uh, yeah, this is only worth like 15 bucks. So if anybody needs a web camera, I haven't tested it though. I probably should test it oh you know what i think it looks identical to oh no it's not i'll say it looks identical to the logitech see i got this logitech and then i just bought this one i thought they were the same but they're not yeah i don't know it's not worth much like i said 15 bucks and then I think I lost some of these when I was walking around because these are Christmas ornaments and I swore there were more in here and for some reason 
one of them was falling out of the bag when I got to the thing. So I must have been holding it in a way where it was it leaked. So I think I lost some. But these are just Dora the Explorer Christmas ornaments. It's got two of her and one of Dora came after my kids grew up. And one of like whoever that guy is. The monkey. So I got those because I figured, oh, that's cool. You know, anytime you could pick up Christmas ornaments that are things like that that kids like, those usually do pretty well. Hey, good morning, corn husker. Um, hey, I heard you got snow. Well, I don't know if you got snow. Um, Kansas City got snow. So maybe Nebraska did too. All right, let me take a sip and I'll show you what else I got. So as you can tell, I bought this on Saturday. They haven't even been taking pictures of yet because none of them are home runs, except for the book. The book's not bad. Clear that. Let me get my next, my next batch. All right, so this is yesterday's batch. Even with solid proof, Amazon is not supporting the sellers. That is so true. That's so true, Lisa. I don't know. I'm kind of going away from Amazon. Did you go through the bag of figures you got last garage sale? No, I did not. They're sitting on my table over there behind me. Um, I have been a lazy reseller lately. Like it's been really bad, really bad. Like the last few months I've been really just not in my normal go and get them stuff. So things get here and they don't go, they don't go as quick. All right. So then I picked up, this was retail arbitrage. Hold on a minute. Cause I'm not going to tell you where I bought it. Do your own work on that, but I'm going to tell you what I bought. So I'm going to take the. So I picked up this. So right now, fairies, gnome, all this stuff is so popular. So this is to make your own little statuary garden. So you can make like a fairy garden, but with Mickey Mouse themed. Hello, who doesn't like Mickey Mouse? Everybody. There are like major Mickey Mouse fans. So I did pick up two of those to throw on eBay. Uh, I will tell you that. Let me tell you. Let me show you how much they're going for. Um, hold on. I'm trying to get my scanner here so I don't have to type in anything. Let me just scan the. Oh, I unplugged it to plug in my new thing. I don't know. I'm not going to look it up then. But I, I think they were going for like $25. I paid like eight bucks for them. So I did pick up two of those. And along that theme, which I was so excited to find these things. All right, let me make sure. This one doesn't have a price. Oh yeah, $4. So I paid $4 for this. Mickey Mouse with a fake plant in it. I paid four bucks. I don't know if this is worth anything. I got to look it up the tag um just disney so why not disney usually does really well although there was some vintage little bars that were about this big of soap of mickey mouse that were at the indoor flea market they were in their own box vintage boxes i looked them up i wasn't sure i didn't pull the trigger they were two dollars a bar Sometimes vintage stuff like that does well, but for some reason, I just, I can't remember what the pricing was, but I don't, I think they were only selling for like six or eight bucks a bar on eBay. And I said, nah, I'm not going to deal with that for two bucks. Now, if it would have been, they had four of them. If it would have been all four of them for $2, I probably would have done that. Because people, if you have a themed guest bathroom or something like that, and it's Disney, you would like to pick up stuff like that. Especially if you had a, um, if you have a, let's say you have an Airbnb and you're in the Orlando area, like those are perfect things to have for your guests. So this is what I showed you the other day, a picture of, this is what I made. Isn't that cute? Just to go on a little tear tray. So I was focusing on things when I was at the um, indoor flea market. I went in really quickly because I can spend like three hours in there. 
And I was looking for anything that would go on a tear tray because they're so popular right now. So this little Simply Blessed. I made this. So I'm going to be listing this and putting it on Etsy today, probably. Uh, so anything small that's vintage that can go on a tear tray, you know, are good to throw on Etsy. So that's my focus, which I'm going to show you was my focus. Focus of the most. Let's see what we got here. All breakables that I bought. Oh, so these don't go on a tear tray, but these are cute. I mean, how can you pass this up? I don't even know if they're worth anything. But look at salt and pepper shakers that are buffalo. Salt and pepper. And they even have their little cork stoppers in both of them. No chips or cracks. There are, there's like a little like sticker, but I can't read anything on it. Hold on. Maybe I can on this one. Ooh, I feel like I can see something. I may have to take a picture of it and then zoom in on it. This one too. It's like silver, but like pressed in silver. So it's really hard to see. But I paid a dollar fifty for these. I think they're adorable. So I'm like, I can't pass them up. There's one, there's no chips or cracks or anything. There's one booth in this indoor flea market area that has, I don't know what you call them. They're not really antique malls because people sell like brand new stuff in them. But they um there's this one booth that I have purchased some really good stuff from in the past and have sold it. Remember that? If anybody's been watching, remember that Mr. T doll that I had, I got from there. I got it from that booth and I sold it. I got a, a bird that I sold. Um, some stone. What was that? An elephant or something that sold. Oh, some fish. I got some fish salt and pepper shakers from there for a dollar. Sold those. I don't think I have anything left from that shop that I picked up that, that I have left. I've, I think I've sold it all. All right. Then I got, I kept telling myself, I got to go there more often. But I was talking to the owner and he was saying that, because we were talking about, there's another indoor flea marketplace in, in a town called Potsdam that I live next to that I've never been to. Well, they run the auction house that I talked about on here many times they run that auction house. And I was saying how the prices at those auctions are crazy. And they said they are. They're very high. But a lot of the people who have booths in there buy stuff from that auction to resell in the booths. They're having a hard time because the garage sales hasn't started up yet. There's no more. A lot of places aren't doing auctions anymore locally. They're just having a hard time buying stuff to keep their booths filled. And I said, yeah, I'm an eBay seller and I'm having a really hard time and because the thrift stores are empty. And then when I do Amazon, I said my Amazon sourcing has been so difficult for Amazon. So I'm like, yeah, well, your people are paying eBay prices to resell. So they, they must be just barely marking them up. Otherwise, people are not doing their homework when they go to buy it. All right. So look at this. All right. I got this little bird. I don't know what these are called. These little glass things. I'm sure there's like a specific name for them. I don't know much about stuff like this. I'm trying to learn. I like to watch Danny Ackerman. She's, um, she goes by the niche lady on YouTube. She's in a couple groups with me and she runs her own group niche for profit. I think it's what's called. And, um, I like to watch her videos cause she does, you know, shop with me and goes to the goodwill all the time. And will show you like the stuff she looks up and, and what she buys and how much she sells it for or, or at least asks for it. And she does an auction every, I think it's on Friday. So it's kind of nice to watch those type of things. Like the crazy lamp lady. Um, I think lavender clothesline. She doesn't do just clothes anymore, I don't think. But those types of things are nice to watch because you can kind of get an idea of what to look for. So I don't know what these are called, but it's a bird. And it was $1.99, but it was really cute. So I picked this up. Again, it would be really cute on a trinket tray or those little tear trays that I, that was my focus another breakable all right so this one I don't keep that uh, so this is an elephant which I think I called it something else yesterday my husband goes it's an elephant I'm like well that's what I meant to say 
<laughs> uh, an elephant. But look, it is a salt or pepper shaker. But it was all by its lonesome. How could you leave that behind? Some elephant lover would love that to put on their tray. It is made in Japan. So I know that that's something that's good to look for. I did look up. There was... Was it like a dragon? Uh, an elephant? Some animal, I think. It was some type of statue, and it was made in South Korea. No, South Vietnam. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. They don't even call it North Vietnam and South Vietnam anymore. It's just Vietnam. So I thought, well, that's vintage. So I looked it up, but they weren't worth anything on eBay. Um, so I paid $2 for this. And again, it's vintage. I'll cross post this to Etsy. It'll probably sell on Etsy over eBay just because people go there and look for that type of stuff. Um, I think that's it. All right, that's it for that store. That's all I bought at that store. Oh, no, wait a minute. Where's the bowls? Oh, I didn't bring my bowls down. Okay, I bought some bowls. Let me sh I'll share you a picture because I put it on Facebook because I don't know what it is. And maybe somebody in here will know. And if not you, maybe somebody who watches the show later will see it. Okay. Let me just type in. Let me type in niche profits. Let me see if I can find my post. Maybe I just type my name in. Camera. All right, here it is. All right, I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to do full share so you guys can see. You don't have to see me. It's more important that you see this. Let me, I don't know if I, all right, so this is what I bought. Aren't they pretty? I got a set of four of them. I told my husband I'm going to see if they're worth anything. If they're not, then I might just keep them for myself. But they are pottery. This is the signature. So I took it going both ways. I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to be read. Or if it's this way. So I thought maybe it said con. So I looked up con. Just K-H-A-N. And it didn't, nothing came up. I don't know what that is. Um, I know Michelle had posted, she thought maybe it was like, you know, Chinese or Japanese type writing, which it could be. I don't know. Anybody familiar with that? I even looked up like blue flower pottery bowl uh, and w went through those and didn't see this one. So that's something else I got. Let me pull it. All right. So that was, uh, the, I bought those four. I paid $10 for the four bowls. I took a chance. They, they were beautiful. No chips, no cracks, no, I mean, they're just really, really pretty. And like I said, if they're not worth anything, it's, they're worth $10 for me to have. Cause I, I really like them. I will get rid of my, I got kind of like, they're like fake Fiesta wear bowls. Um, they just don't go with the theme of my kitchen. And I'll just pull them out. And they're big. Like I said, these are perfect for like putting desserts in or, you know, a bowl of grapes or some ice cream. Like they're just a perfect medium size bowl where the bowls I have now, like if I want a bowl of ice cream, I feel like either I have to like take a whole pint worth of ice cream to fill the bowl or I feel like I'm so depraved when I have just two little scoops. They look so small in this huge bowl. So this will just make things look better. So I, I kind of really, really want to keep them. So if I can't find anything on them, I might just keep them. Because my question on that group was, plus I was hoping it would bump it up, um, was what do you do? If you, if you buy something and you can't find any um, comps on it, so you have no idea what to start it at if you were to do an auction, if I wouldn't even do an auction because I wouldn't even know what brand to put in it if it's worth something to bring people to the listing, right? I might have one person stumble upon it and they would get it at my starting bid probably. 
So I don't like to really do auctions, but buy it now. Do you start high and just take offers? Like, I don't know. I don't know. But if I, even if I started high and it sold right away, I would be like, oh my gosh, I didn't ask enough because <laughs> it's obviously something more than what I think. But I don't know. It could be nothing. I don't know. I don't know. All right. So this is what I went. The whole reason I went to that town, which is a town called Canton. If you've ever heard of St. Lawrence University. It's an expensive, like, Ivy League type college. Um, they also they have a SUNY Canton, which is a state university of New York can, uh, college there also. I am surrounded by colleges here because we have Clarkson and we have SUNY Potsdam. Like, within a half hour, I have at least those four colleges. So I went out to SUNY Canton to do a pickup with somebody. She was selling... A TI 84 plus for $15. I offered her 10 and she said, how about we split it? So I got it for 1250. Well, after we agreed, she goes, Oh, I want you to tell, I want to tell you that my son painted the color orange because his, his had gotten stolen and this was to prevent the somebody stealing it. Well, no, they painted the back orange also, not just the front. But the back and which I was like, okay, I'll try and clean it up, but I'll get my I'll get my twelve fifty back. I mean, it's a calculator. Um, when I got it home, I'm not gonna say the word, and hopefully April, <laughs> your grandson doesn't know how to read if you can see this, but there's profanity. Can you see that? There you go. See how I tilt that? You can see it profanity etched into this cover that was not disclosed i didn't see it until i got home so i'm going to mention that something I'm, my husband thinks if i took like nail polish remover or acetate i could take this off and he's wondering because right here it's like a thicker because see how it's like two oranges um it's a little bit thicker and he thinks they may have just scratched it into the paint and it may not be actually scratched into the actual cover so my question to you guys is, would you sell, oh yeah, there you go, JRK, I was just going to say, I was thinking about just selling it without the cover, because I don't want to send it, if I can't get that profanity off, I don't want to send it. The only other thing I could think of is, if I could give, give the buyer an option, and I could say, oh, sandpaper, that is a good idea too, Tio, I'll try that, is if I can get this off and I can get it back to black, but if you can still see it a little bit is somebody might want the cover and they could just put duct tape on it. And then, you know, and I also have my Cricut. So I was thinking I could always do um, in the listing or maybe after somebody buys it, just say to them, hey, I'm willing to put a name or, you know, do something like that on it that would block this. If I was to put something with, with my Cricut, I could put somebody's name on it. Um, yeah. So, so that's what I got. I, don't know, I thought for 12 bucks, it's worth worth it. These sell for like $50 used. They're like 150 bucks brand new. They're expensive. So that's what I picked up yesterday. That's the whole reason I went out was just to get this. And then I stopped at that flea market um, in the Dollar General. And, um, or not Dollar, Dollar Tree. Because I also picked up, this is what I went out for. I went to buy these little wooden cubes been doing a lot of crafts and I went to keep this. I would keep it orange too. Oh, you think so? The youth getting that today has heard and seen cuss, curse words. I know, but as a parent, I wouldn't buy that and give it to my child, even, even if my child has seen or heard it. Right? Because I don't need the, my child's teacher to see that and think my child did it or something. So I, I personally, I'm going to try and clean it up. I don't want to sell, I don't want to sell it like that if I can do something to make it better. If I can't, then I'll just do it at that whatever. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it, folks. I'm just looking. I don't think I have anything else. I haven't sold anything else. Pretty sure that's it. Let me just click my back to orders. Make sure my queue is empty. It is. So that's it. I sold. Bought. Gonna take pictures today. Get some stuff listed. Um. Hopefully I'll be down here. My husband would put, put up my blinds. I can take down my, oh, for those who are late, let me just show you. 
this is what I want to get rid of. See, this is blocking my window for my lack of blinds. <laughs> I put up the boxes. They worked well. And then this week I had to put up envelopes because the sun was peeking through the edges. But look at this. Look, you can't even see the grass now. It's supposed to snow all the way till tonight. What the heck? What? The animals must be thinking, what is going on? The bears are like, I'm going back into hibernation. I'm getting out of here. Anybody new to my channel who hasn't seen my storage? Now that I got my, my web camera here moving. Look, this is my storage. Those are my shelves over there. This is my mess over here. This is how I grab my stuff, my boxes. And I have a shelf right here that's got them. It's messy. It's messy, I tell you. It's messy. I need to clean it up and organize it some more. But I feel like every time I clean it up and then I pack stuff, it just gets messy again. It's a never-ending cycle. Uh, so what's everybody else got on their agenda today before I sign off? So Michelle says she's listing today. I can't find my camera. I have plenty in the pipeline to move on. You see, I got all those. I want to take pictures of this stuff, but I have all those pictures from last week. I still need to list. I want an organized space like yours. Mine's not that organized, Christy. Did you all see my death pile? I put it on Instagram this week. It's not that organized. This right here is nice and clean, though. Like, I've gotten this pretty good. My tote J7. This is what I got to list. So as I take pictures, I put them in a tote and the tote already has a name on it. I'll take a picture of that tote name. Then I'll take a bunch of pictures. And then when the tote is full, I usually will stop. And that's what I'll list is that tote. And then the next time I need to do it, I'll do it again. I list a tote. If I was to sit there and do more than one tote because the items are big, then I take a picture, fill the tote, take a picture of the next tote, and fill the next tote. Because I don't list down here now. I Most of the time I'm upstairs watching TV, and I list while, um, you know, while doing that. So I don't know what the tote is. So I'll just be like, oh, yeah, everything from this point on is J7 until I see, I already have a J8, until I see J9, maybe, maybe, maybe J, what's after J? It's a JK, JK, K is next. So maybe K. I'm hoping I don't get to K. I would really prefer to empty some more of these totes and just refill those. We need a listing challenge. Oh, I know. I probably probably should do something like that. But on that weekend, you did a with listing challenge with Donna and I. I busted, but I got so much listed that weekend. So much listed. Um, I'm working out of a single wide trailer out of one and a half rooms. Oh my gosh. So yeah, you probably don't have much room. Oh, I gotta get my fingernail file. I got a little piece of fingernail that's just sticking out. It's driving me crazy. Yeah, that's you know, I'm so for I'm telling you, when we looked at this house and I walked downstairs and I saw this because our basement at our other house was just a traditional basement with just those little tiny windows that I don't know, usually had so many cobwebs in them because we didn't use our basement for stuff. My laundry room was down there. Well, I shouldn't say laundry room. Our washer and dryer was down there. But it was pretty much where just stuff went to go to, to storage for to die. Like, we just never went down there. And so when we came down here, I was just like, oh, my gosh, this is amazing. This is amazing. I knew it would be perfect for my business. And, you know, it was definitely a, a one of those things that I said, yeah, this is this is the house. I love that I have this space. It makes it so much easier. I think if I didn't have this space, I would be, I would probably be more picky on what I bought. Um, number one, I would only want stuff that didn't wasn't long tail, but I would also probably look for like smaller items or things that are easier to store. Like if I was doing clothing, you know, like shirts and stuff are easier to store than jeans because jeans take up more space. But jeans take up less space than a squishmallow pillow, you know, stuff like that. So if I'm limited, but, you know, Pokemon cards and stuff like that are even, which, by the way, I got Pokemon cards in that tote. I got a list. But Pokemon cards are, um, you know, things like that, like postcards don't take much room. Um, what was, somebody was talking about something the other day. 
I thought, oh, I've never thought about selling those. What was it? I can't think of it. Like antique buttons. They was some in a case that was locked up and I couldn't see the price. And I'm like, oh, I'd have to get, this is the thing when they lock stuff up at a, like a, these indoor flea markets, you have to get somebody to unlock it. Then they're standing there because they got to lock it back up when you're done. So I would have to pull it out, turn the button around because they were on like this placard card. Look at the brand name. I'd have to look it up, find out what the price is because the price isn't showing. All while the person is standing there while you're doing it. I don't like that. So I just leave it. So Holly's in for a challenge. Uh-oh. Michelle is throwing down the gauntlet. Listing challenge starts at 9 a.m. The highest number of new listings per platform wins. Ends at midnight, Sunday night. Oh, so it starts, starts today and ends at, on Sunday. Is that what you're saying, Michelle? Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to jump in on that. I don't know if I want to take the time to do it. She's going to offer a $10 Starbucks card. Yeah, we were offering it on our last listing challenge. I won it, and I said, you guys keep it. It was prize enough for me to get, I think I got, what did I get? Like over 100 items listed. It was, it was a lot. I listed. I didn't go anywhere. I listed for two days straight. Uh, Charlie says his basement is dark. Yeah. I'm so far behind listing today and working on my suppressed listings or just put those items on eBay. <coughs> I pulled back an item yesterday from Amazon that was a stranded item. And I'm like, what's stranded? It said the listing was deleted. So I went and looked. Well, yes, it was deleted. It was an item I sold during Christmas, it was a Hershey's, uh, like a gingerbread house, but it was Hershey brand. And I remember I got a return on one and I thought that's kind of weird, you know, um, it just became stranded inventory in April and it was returned back in December. It just became stranded. Like, there's no way it took them that long to return it. It, it just took Amazon that long to finally put it back into my inventory. And of course the item was deleted because I'd sold it like six months ago. Boneheads. So I, I was going to like, I was like, oh, should I pull it back or should I have them just trash it? And I'm like, no, pull it back. I'll take the candy out of it. It's not been opened. I'll take the candy out and eat the candy. <laughs> it's worth the 25 cents for them to uh, send it back to me. Then pay them 10 cents to sell it and make money off of it. We don't have basements in Southern California. You don't? I'm wondering if most of the country in the Southern part don't have basements. Because yeah, like in Florida, they don't. Oklahoma. They don't have basements even in Oklahoma. You have to put a storm cellar in. I would do that. If I lived in Tornado Alley. Mm -hmm. I use 27-gallon black totes from Home Cheapo. I need see-through. Yes. I got see-through and shelf-friendly totes. Um, so I highly, highly suggest see-through. If you're putting a lot of smaller type items in your totes, today I was looking for those seasonings. And I'm like, okay, I know they're in here in J8. Where are you? And it was easy for me to be able to pull the tote out a little bit. I looked to the left, looked to the right, and I'm like, oh, there they are. Right? I could have had to dig and dig and dig through the tote and I could see them right in the side. I, I really like see-through totes. They help a lot. Plus, I can, at a quick glance of just walking down my aisle here, see what totes are full and not full. Be, and Because I can see through them. Where otherwise I'd have to like look into them. And I don't put my covers on my totes. My totes are all coverless which a couple years ago was not so good because one morning I went to grab something out of a tote and there was a dead bat in my tote. Yes, a bat, B-A-T. And I screamed. I didn't know it was dead. And a week prior to that, we had a bat upstairs on in the inside of the house on the screen, which when I got up, I thought it was outside. No, it was inside. 
So I went over and I closed the window on it. So it was stuck between the window and the screen until I got my husband up and said, you got to go deal. We've got a bat in the house. It was like this big. You know, it was like, you know, when they close themselves up to sleep. So it was like this big, all closed up. And it was a few days after that he got rid of it. Like he put it outdoors because it's illegal to kill a bat here. And I don't know if it's the whole country, or at least in New York, it's illegal to kill a bat. So he put it outdoors. And then like a couple nights later, I was sitting on the couch watching TV and a freaking bat went flying by. <laughs> I'm like, holy crap. So once I found that dead one and then that one and that after three of them, we're like, yeah, we need to call an exterminator. You know, they didn't exterminate, but you know, what are they called? Like animal control or something like that. So he came and there's something up in our chimney. Uh, we have a, like a, what's it called a flute or whatever. He put some screen around it so that they were coming in through the chimney. I don't know. They got rid of them. There's no more. We've had no other bats, but I was so scared. So scared. So that was the only time I wish I would have had a cover on my, my tote. Um, let's see. So Michelle is talking about the, the challenge. So if anybody wants in on that challenge, Michelle, put it on my Discord group. Uh, maybe somebody else will jump in on it. It is nice if you feel like you've got some skin in the game. It is nice. So what would be nice and what we did last time was uh, all three of us said we would chip in a $10 gift card to whoever won. So if you win, you you don't have to do anything. But if you lose, then you would send a $10 gift card or, you know, e-card or whatever. Just kind of gives you a little bit of motivation when you have a little bit on the line. It's up to you guys if you do it. But I I like when I've got a little skin in the game, as I call it. Uh, we don't have basements. All right, I already read that one. Anyone can join. You don't have to list the entire time. It's up to you and how you do it. Yeah. You challenge me. And if I'm all in, I'm all in. I'm, I'm listing the whole time. <laughs> But even if you don't win, think about what you get listed. That's worth it. If anyone else has YouTube streams, post them so I can check you out. Yeah, if you have a YouTube channel content, I think I mentioned this on Monday, please post your link. If you are not a moderator and you can't post your link, say it and I'll make you a moderator so you can uh, post your link. When you get an invoice from EE Distribution, does the invoice pop these up does the invoice reflect how many total items or does it just list by the case um i don't know let me see please send me a link to your group it's in the description of all my videos let me see what i'm going to pull up one of my invoices i'd share it with you guys i'll share it with you guys if i can make it so my um address isn't showing Um, oh, here we go. I can show you guys this one. So let me, wait a minute, stop sharing, reshare. Um, I got to find the one I want to share. Here we go. I'm just going to move it. Hopefully it stays on your screen, but I'm moving it away from my screen. Okay. All right, so this is my, this was mine from back in April 2nd of 2019. This is when I got on gated on EE distributions. This is what I ordered. Look at all the stuff I ordered. So when you place your first order, you get a 5% discount. At least you did back then. I don't know what they do now. Um, so it's pretty good. $600 total. Um, so it says 12 each. See, so six per case and I get 12 each. So I ordered two cases. So it does show six per case, 12, eight per case. And I ordered two cases, which that's weird how they do that backwards. 18, 12, 12. So when you order a case, it does show you per. So one of the things, if you watch my toy video on getting on gate in, one of the things I talk about is when you get, um, so like for Matchbox, right? So I wanted to get ungated in Matchbox. Well, I also wanted to get ungated in Jurassic. So Jurassic World. So I did a Jurassic World Matchbox. So don't just order your plain old Matchboxes. 
get a themed matchbox that's going to get you ungated in Jurassic and matchbox or DC comics or whatever, you know, cause there's so many different themes. There's even Disney matchboxes. So if you want to get ungated in Disney, do it with something like a matchbox, uh, Disney princess, little people. So it got me ungated in Disney princess and little people. Um, Polly pockets, Barbie, mega blocks and Thomas the tank. So I got two, two out of that one. Uh, cancellation fee. So this was, is Lego on here? I don't see Lego. So this rainbow stamp pad, that was for Melissa and Doug. And so I actually had to send a screenshot of Melissa and Doug's, um, the website on for EED showing that's a Melissa and Doug with this item number so they could match it. I remember that one. Um, going to see if the one that I got because somebody was asking the other day about I don't see it on here they were asking about um, a CPC because to get engaged in toys you need to have a CPC whether your toy EED isn't always so great at getting you that I use Play-Doh which is not on this invoice it's on a different one uh, but that cancellation fee that was from I ordered Lego and, you know, with EED, they send you an invoice right away before they even ship it. Now, Amazon's gotten a little smarter and they are now to get ungated. You have to take pictures of stuff. If you haven't gotten your order in yet, go to Walmart, find the item and take a picture. Right. I mean, be smart. Take the item into into the home goods area and put it on top of a blanket or something that makes it look like it's kind of in your house, not in, in the store. Take a picture and send it. So I did, um, so they weren't doing that back when I was doing it. So I ordered Lego and then I got an email from EED saying I had to sign a map uh, minimum advertised price policy that Lego has. And Lego also does not allow you when you order through EED to sell it on Amazon. So you had to sign something. Well, I never signed it. I actually never saw the email and they only gave me like a 24 hours and they went ahead and canceled my order. And I'm like, I don't care because I was going to lose on whatever I was uh, buying. Any I was going to lose money. It was just to get ungated in Lego. And at that point, I'd already gotten ungated in Lego because I was already able to use the invoice. So that was kind of nice. So I don't mind when they cancel the order. But when you cancel the order, you get charged a fee. I don't remember what it was. I have taken that charge in the, in the past because it was cheaper than getting the item and, and losing money. Um, let's see. I have a little bit of content, but been a while since I posted anything. Hey, Chris, Christy, get with it. Come on, come on, do a video, update it, put something out. Um, I'd love to discover new channels. I don't know if I follow you though, Christy. You're probably not a mod, are you? You want to share your link? I can add you. Let me go to YouTube. And let me go to my show, which is probably going to make a noise here in a minute. Live. Oh, nope. I'm already muted. Sweet. Since COVID, you haven't listed anything. Well, get going. Do something. I just made you a mod. I think I did. I think I, I, think I hit the button, right? Yeah, because now it says remove. So if you want to post a link to your, your um to your show or to your channel, even though Charlie's right on it and he went and found you without the link. I wish that YouTube would come back where you could just click on somebody's name and it would go. There used to be a plugin. I had it and I don't know what happened to it, but I don't have it anymore. If anybody knows the name of that plugin, there's a plugin that you can add to Google Chrome. And when you're on YouTube, it will make that so you can click and go to their YouTube channel. But I don't remember what that plugin is called, but it's there somewhere. I'll wait for you to post your, uh, your link. I've been helping with some girls auctions in the auction community, modding and calling. If you post your link and then I'm going to end the show, but I don't want to end it until you post it. It's weird how I always thought there was a delay. 
Oh, I'm on top chat. Maybe that's why. Because when I'm looking over here at the the actual YouTube screen, it seems like there's not much of a delay anymore. Looking back and forth. <laughs> I look like a bobblehead myself. Have a great day, everyone. Goodbye, Laura. Thank you so much for stopping in. Get your suppressed listings fixed. I'd love for you to uh, message me and give me an update on your brand and how you're doing with that. Or post it in the group. I haven't heard anything on that in a while. Yeah, I don't know what to do with Amazon. I'm still just struggling. Some people, I see them sending off boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff. And I'm like, man, I don't know. I'm just not, not uh, finding anything. Maybe I need to uh, look into wholesale. But I don't think I really want to open that can of worms right now. All right, well, if you want to follow Caffeinated Christy, you're just going to have to search for her on your own. I'm going to be saying goodbye. And thank you all again for coming. And as always, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you would love to hit that thumbs up for me, I would love it. Ah, there we go. There she goes. All right. I'm going to check that out. You know what? Your link popped up on StreamYard before... YouTube. When does that ever happen? Never. All right. I just subscribed. Gotcha. I'll take a look at some of your old videos. But do something new. Let's get you. Let's get you going and get you up to a thousand people so you can start making some moolah moolah. Not a lot of moolah. I make a little bit. Lisa pays for StreamYard. And well, it doesn't pay for StreamYard and my web camera. <laughs> StreamYard one month. Web camera the next month. <laughs> but that's all right. I enjoy it. I like having some coworkers while I'm packing and working in the morning. It, and makes it makes it so much easier. Uh, all right. I'm going to say goodbye so I can get going and get some more stuff done. And it's kind of cool down here because it's cold outdoors. I should have put a sweater on. And I don't have my heat on. And it's 40 out. Uh, hope you all have a great rest of your week. Have a great hump day and I will see you on Friday. All right. See you guys later. Bye-bye.